Niatros by three. Niatros by four. Niatros is by himself. But he could do so much more than the average horse could do. Then he just had the speed. He had the gait. And uh, there's another man that, that uh, managed him, I mean, perfectly, Clint Galbraith. And Clint did a great job with that horse. I mean, just unbelievable. He just was so natural, just had so much ability, and he knew how to use it, and, and his gait, and uh, I mean, the, every track he went to as a three-year-old, they, they broke records. Niatros, with Galbraith in the Sophie, commenced his first year at the races. He raced 13 times. He scored 13 victories. He was a great gated horse, and he was a great mannered horse. And, and uh, you could just do anything with him. And he just, he, uh, and this is one thing that they can't say about too many horses. He just wore a, a plain overcheck bit and this plain snaffle bit. He was, uh, if not the greatest horse I've seen race, definitely first or second in that category. There in the stretch, it's Nyan Ross pulling away from the other. There's Nyan Ross and the others. It's Nyan Ross, just impressing. Nyan Ross way up. He was 13 for 13. He was horse of the year, two year old of the year. He was just such a natural horse and I was pretty convinced that he was a great horse. But at Saratoga Harness in Saratoga Springs, New York, on July 5th, 1980, disaster fell. Several of the horses in his race had already passed him when he suddenly tumbled over the inside hub rail. He just quite wasn't himself that day and would come off the head of the stretch, he kind of bared in and it was kind of muddy and the bike touched, caught the railing, it was just a short, uh, uh, low railing, about a foot, and he kind of bared in. I uh, pulled it to the right, and the, the bike caught the fence, and it just tripped him, you know. It might be best if the colt would race no more, that he be retired, syndicate spokesman said. Tyler B. and Storm Damage, and they're following Niatros, and nobody's going to catch him. It's Niatros by four, and he's going away. Niatros and Clint Galbraith, they win the 1980 Meadowlands pace. If I had to stop with the horse, then he would, nobody would ever have seen them, what a great horse he really was. It's Niatros throwing away from the field by four lengths, and here they are. An hour later, Niatros and his seven foes returned to do battle a second time. And I really wanted to win the jug. I think he's a horse that I would like to measure his reach, see how far he did step forward every step because he had a, a great, great gait to him, just a fluid gait, and, and I think that's what made him great. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. Clint Galbraith looks over his shoulder. It's Niatros wins the lead. Storm damage on the outside. Tyler B third. It's Niatros winning the little brown jug. Mile 154 and four. A world's record. I think the high point of my career to win the brown jug. And, he wanted, you know, easy, but it just, it's just something to be, to be proud of. Naya draws 21 and 4, unbelievable three quarters. I thought he could beat 50, but you know, if you tell somebody that, they think they might put you in the loony team. The fastest ever in the sport, Naya draws his home in 49. He did it on his own, you know. Niatros, because that's what he was. He was Niatros. 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 It's Niatros. is by himself. For a horse that had speed like him, and he was perfect to drive. You know, he could drive with a shoestring. That's what made him so great, I think, because he was so easy to get along with.